Now, the United States has reportedly scaled back its surveillance in the South China Sea, according to a Beijing-based think tank. U.S. aircraft sorties in September reportedly decreased by around half in comparison with August 2022. Now, the South China Sea Probing Initiative, a Beijing-based think tank that keeps monthly records of the U.S. aircraft sorties in South China Sea, has said that the surveillance was highest around House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's Taiwan visit. The think tank used automatic dependent surveillance broadcast technology to track the U United States planes. The China-based think tank says that it has recorded 67 sorties in the month of July, 46 in August, 28 in the United uh, 28, and U.S. aircraft sorties in the month of September. The think tank further claims that August 5th saw the highest number of U.S. sorties of the month, as China test-fired 11 missiles that day. Pelosi was the most senior U.S. official to visit the island in decades. An irked China reacted with ramping up military drills encircling the island and ballistic missile launches after Pelosi's visit. The Chinese aggression prompted U.S. countermeasures. According to the think tank, U.S. positioned the aircraft carrier USS Ronald Reagan and its strike group closer to Taiwan during that particular period. According to reports, the eventual decline in U.S. aircraft sorties could be a result of Washington's bid to de-escalate tensions and deteriorating diplomatic ties between the two nations. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.